We're here for the apartment tour. Oh, oh let me change. Give me a second. Okay. All right, you guys can come in. So welcome friends, friends, back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a little apartment tour. I put out a poll a few weeks ago asking if like you guys actually wanted it, and it seemed like you guys did. Now, one of my friends did make a comment, bro, that's gonna be like a one minute video. And I was like, you know what? It might be, but it's fine. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. So right when you walk into my apartment, it's like this huge hall, and above, like it's gonna be ambient lighting, as well as regular lighting. As you walk into my apartment, to your right is gonna be my washer and dryer, as well as my water heater. I'm not gonna show that because nobody wants to see that. As you continue walking, uh, to your left directly is gonna be my bathroom. Like I said, this is a small apartment. So, you know, everything's just kind of like right there, self-explanatory super quickly. Now, when you come into the uh, bathroom, something I love about this bathroom is that how big it is. And it's the one thing that actually made me want to rent this apartment. Now, when, like the vibe in here and the aesthetic that I wanted to keep was a very low stress, very like boho aesthetic of it all. Just because when you go, come into the bathroom, you come in here to relax, you come in here to clean yourself off, you come in here just like, you know, for a daily basis. Now, if you follow me, the other best part about this bathroom is the walk-in waterfall shower. Now, in here, it's literally the absolute best. The acoustics, one, is amazing. Two, literally, it's so good to shower in here. It's just like so relaxing music. When you turn on the water, it comes down directly on you rather than in the normal shower where it like just kind of comes at you at an angle. It's just very rude and disrespectful the way it comes. Also, don't forget to turn off your lights to save energy. Hey guys, I just want to say two things. So first, I want to apologize because my contour is not blended and it looks really harsh. I did not realize that until right now. So I apologize that you have to watch all 13 minutes or 15 minutes of that with my contour on. Uh, second, I want to give a shout out to my good friend, Helena. She did the title card and help me film this video so i thank you so much here is her at to her instagram go follow her go show her some love um also this is like the most comfortable hoodie ever at sandro paris go get like a hoodie from them i guarantee you you will not regret it but yeah love you guys enjoy the rest of the video so now to follow me this is a big mama this is where all the magic happens because i cook so much actually i do not cook at all like it's very rare like i do but i don't i don't know but anyways this so this area is like my kitchen literally love it the absolute most this we actually got from walmart um and we got this just to, to give me a little bit more storage and a little bit you know more counter space because again as you can tell it doesn't have that much counter space and the vibe in here again i just want to keep it very industrial very uh you know architecturally savvy and whatnot uh and the reason why was that was because if you look at the floors actually it is gray with like a hint of undertone of blue which I personally love. I think it's super, super cute. And on, honestly, it's like something unique. You don't really see that in a lot of apartments nowadays. You see like, you know, the wood and more of like the luxurious, quote unquote, uh, textures for the flooring. I love this floor. It actually does keep it cooler in here. So I save on energy as well. Now over here, I have my bar cart, which I actually got this from Home Goods. I got this for like 70 bucks, I think. It was a really good deal. I like talked it down 20%. I know, I'm a freaking sales continent connoisseur, but it's fine. And I actually got this for like five bucks from there. It's from India, really, really cute. Uh, and the reason why I got this was just, again, because my vibe, my whole aesthetic as a person is all very glamorous, but yet I still have that industrial feel to everything that I do. And that's just like me as a person. I've always been like that. So uh, over here, you see my espresso machine and my electronic wine opener which I actually use one too often. Uh, also, you see my favorite flower. These are hydrangeas. These are my absolute favorite flowers. I think they're beautiful. Um, yes, and my favorite candle from Glade, vanilla. You can't go wrong with that one. And now if you follow me over here, we do have our dining room, our little dining room table. We got this from Amazon. My parents and I got this from Amazon. Such a good price. I feel like everybody has this like, table. It is so cute and so aesthetically pleasing. I don't know, that's just my opinion. Um, and we got this plant from Target just to add it like more of an Italian feel to it all. Going to this painting on the wall. Now this painting I actually did by myself. It, I, you know, kind of like went off of like some inspiration from like a West Elm like poster that I saw. I thought it was really cute, but I decided to do primary colors on this one. The reason why is because 
in like throughout the apartment you'll see that there's really no splashes of color i like to keep it very monochromatic very you know uh with the blues and the whites and the grays just because i do think it matches the floors and it really does complement the entire apartment as a whole so this splash of color i thought was perfect in this area because again you'll see the white here so like it's already monochromatic in that aspect therefore adding a little pop of color honestly makes it more iconic now right here um i decided to add a mirror in the middle the reason why i decided to add a mirror there was because you base how big an area is on how far your eyes can go and so with that being said i decided to add that mirror so that once you walk in your eyes will go farther and therefore making my apartment look bigger so that's why i decided to add the mirror also it's just really great for like taking selfies and other pictures so over here is actually going to be my you know living room space the space that i probably spend the most amount of time in um and that's because i'm a lazy bitch i don't do anything else but you know eat and watch tv now again i want to keep this like sofa very very like you know industrial i want to keep it luxurious i want to be different from like the crown if you want to say that i guess um so when we're doing like you know my couch search and you know trying to find what sofa i was going to use for my apartment i came across like something that looked similar to this one it wasn't this exact same one it was on amazon it was 900 dollars, and i was like i am not going to pay that much for a couch i'm so sorry like i know like it's good quality yeah it might be good quality but i'm not going to do that to myself so my mom and i looked and we searched high and low and finally one day during class when i sh should not have been on my phone but i was i found this beauty it was only like i think 200 two or three hundred dollars which is considerably cheaper than the original one that i was about to get and i just thought this would look perfect just because again that velvet is like that retro style but yet very classy and very modern on top of that it does look really really good again with the floors i base a lot of everything off of the floors because i love the floor so much uh, because it does have a blue undertone in the floors therefore making the blue look even deeper when you look at it same thing with like you know i want to add those white accents keep that clean yet luxurious feel so i added those and uh the rest of the furniture here we got from ikea we got this for 50 bucks it was like on sale um i don't really sit here all that often because i i just don't like it um, that's just me personally. I don't like leather, but you know, we got it. It was cute. And it was a good deal. Um, and then the rug, actually, we got a fur rug here. It's faux fur. Nobody come for me. Nobody kill me. I am PETA friendly. Um, I got this for 30 bucks at Home Goods. So if you'll follow me this way now, um, I have one of my original paintings again. I did this painting myself. It's an abstract. Uh, I don't really know what it is. It was just when I got back from uh, after quarantine back to my apartment, I decided to do like a painting and this is what it ended up being. Now, a lot of people say that there's actually a woman in here, like hidden behind, but I don't really, I've never seen a woman in the painting. If you see like right here, I see that face and the neck, but that's all I see. And like, I didn't even realize that I had painted that until after somebody had pointed it out to me, my sister had pointed it out to me. So it's kind of creepy, but honestly, I honestly love it just because it is an original work and nobody has this work. So if you guys want to buy it, hit me up. It's going to be on sale for $10,000. i am just totally joking all. So if you guys follow me over here. Now this, again, another favorite place of mine. This is where all the magic happens, where actually no magic happens because I am single and ready to mingle. So people hit me up. Ha. I'm a cat, I promise. Anyways, um, we decided to add these curtains just to, I feel like, give it like that separation between the kitchen and the living room. And yes, I never have them down and it doesn't go fully like across, but I do feel like these curtains add just like that little simplistic vibe to it. And just, again, make it look, feel more luxurious, which is like my entire brand, my entire aesthetic as a person. And now the beds, again, I just want to keep it very white, very monochromatic, and still keep those grays and those blues in there. And those blues are actually from the sofa that originally originally came with the sofa. But I decided to add that blue in there just to tie it all together. If you look at the painting on the above the bed, this painting, I'm not sure, it's by a Russian painter, but I'm not entirely sure who it is. So if you guys know, let me know. But I love, I fell in love with this one just because it's like so raw and I don't know how to even explain it. I, I thought it looked perfect above my bed and it complements it perfectly, especially with the ambient lighting above. Now here's my rack, my you know, cl little clothing rack. And typically what I'll do is that I'll put <clears throat> like outfits here that I'm, I'll be wearing for like either the next day or for like during the week just so that I can have like, you know, my outfits planned out and it's just a little bit easier than having to like go into my closet and figure it all out. So the last item I want to show you guys is 
my absolute favorite. Now, this is the reason why I actually like decided to get this apartment. I, as soon as I walked into this, I fell in love and I have not gone back since. It's gonna be my closet actually. So if you'll follow me into my luxurious closet. but this closet was the reason why I decided to rent this um, as you can see I have like all my suits all my uh, custom works here on this side and of course my regular t-shirts and some stuff which I need to do laundry so that's why it looks a little unplenished um, but yeah and then over here I have more of like my custom or my expensive shoes just because I like to keep them on display so that they don't get ruined on the floor even though they're probably already dirty it's fine um, but yeah, and I decided to decorate it with like a, an acrylic chair just because I thought it would look really, really cute. And sometimes I just like to sit in here and admire everything that I have. Over here is going to be more of like my accessory walls where my belts are and some of my bags. And of course, up here is where I keep my Louis Vuitton duffel. I have my sweaters over here. And back here is my favorite wall just because this is where I keep all my bags. So I have like my for my first, you know, ever purchase. All the way to like my most recent two so that's my apartment you were all complete let me know what you guys think of it um or like if there's any decorations that i need to add because i know there's some areas that like honestly need it but honestly i love living here this is has been some of the greatest years of my life a few months of my life and i just want to say thank you guys for 49 subscribers that it doesn't seem like a lot but to me just at least i thought it was only going to be 10 of you watching but i was proven very very wrong and i thank you guys all for watching it means the absolute most to me and yes i actually mean that thank you very much and don't forget to like and subscribe uh, leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think again don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you know when i upload new videos thank you guys again so so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one bye y'all